it's time to talk about black metal vocalists, my top 10 of all time. I've not actually done a video on this, which is crazy, because I've been doing black metal videos for a while now, and I've not even told you my favourite vocalist. What a cunt, Questy. What an absolute fucking cunt. Anyway, today we're going to rectify that right in your rectum. And we're going to talk about my top 10 favourite black metal vocalists of all time. So down below in that little comment box, you can see it right, it's right down there. Pop down your favourite vocalist in black metal. Do you agree with my list? Do you not? Let's get in with it with number 10. Ooh. Number 10 is Famine by Peste Noir. Ooh, starting off spicy. He's not the best vocalist in the world. I know this is the top 10 best in my opinion, but it's, it's for me, personal list. He's not the greatest singer, but his style is so unmatched. Like his style is so unmatched. The way he sings, the way he enunciates, the, it's just, it's unmatched. It's unparalleled. You should go check out the live videos of some of the songs, like at Steel Fest. I can't remember what year it was, but check out the live and the way he gets the crowd going, the kind of raspy voice, and it's just, everyone's singing along. It's great. It's fantastic. He is a great front man. Love the voice. I know it's not you know perfect, but it's black metal. You don't want to be perfect. You want to stand out, and he stands out, so he's making it into my top ten. Famine legend. Next up is Prescriptor McGovern. That's correct. Abzu. Abzu. Yeah, the former vocalist of Abzu. Such a unique voice. Very high, very screechy and screamy, but also you can kind of hear what he's saying. Similar to like a King Diamond. I love King Diamond. One of my favourite vocalists of all time, and he kind of channels that energy, the high pitch, like, <laughs> when he's singing, uh, slash screaming. So if you like King Diamond, go check out Abzu, because all their albums are great, and he sings fantastic in all of them, and the solo album, Prescriptor McGrovin's Abzu. So good. Every single album is banger. Uh, his voice is just very unique again. Very unique. There's not a lot of King Diamond-esque vocalists in black metal. Uh, he's the only one that comes to mind. There's a lot of high-pitched screaming, but not quite the singy, screaming, thrashy nature of it, like uh, McGovern. So yeah, he's coming here. Next up, we got a pest. Pest, I almost put hat here, I love hat. Um, but pest is also not only just in Gorgoroth, he's also in, I fucking forgotten it, what's it called? Obtained in Slim, and I wrote it down. Questy's mind is melting. Obtained Enslavement, which has one of the best symphonic black metal albums of all time. Witchcraft. Fucking amazing. His vocals in that, so goddamn good. And the vocals in the Gorgoroth albums he's in, only about three or something. Amazing, like Destroyer. Oof. Oof. So damn good. Qantas. Ugh. Yeah. Pest is one of the best black metal vocalists in there. And it's a cliche pick to put him here, but... What can I say? I need some classics here as well, and he's one of the best. So, Pest is making it. Pest is passing the test. We just talked about Pest, now let's talk about Rest. Rest of Leviathan. Leviathan's vocals is just insane. It's kind of like... But it's kind of like a Leviathan. It's kind of like a H.P. Lovecraft thing just coming out of the abyss to, like, swallow you whole. You have the harrowing screams, like on Temp Sub-Level of Suicide, and then you have the more... Nuanced screaming, like on um, Scar Sighted, very different and unique album. I love it. So unique, this vocalist. So unique and just fun. Fun vocalist as well. Rest is again passing the test. Next up, we have Werewolf from Satanic War Master. That is correct. He was also on Horner and millions of other records, but his vocals are so good. His vocals are so good. Um, just go listen to the newest Satanic War Master album. And you'll know, it's just feral. It does feel like a werewolf screaming to you, and I love it. I love his albums with Horner as well. So just in your face, and furious, and hopefully get to see them live uh, next year. It's going to be good. Yes, yeah, Satanic Warmaster, what can I say? I love him. Fimble Winter, oh, fucking amazing. What a fucking great album that is. Such a different album for them as well. I'm just jerking off over the band now. But yeah, the vocals in it. Furious, feral, feels like you are getting chased by him. He's just fucking transformed. He's ready to rip your spleen out and start sucking on your juices. Not in a gay way. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's 
It's good. His voice is good. And it's coming here on this list. Speaking of Horner, Corvus is next. My favourite vocalist from Horner. Um, but not just that. He's also the vocalist of Total Self-Hatred, one of my favourite DSBM bands of all time. And Total Self-Hatred, so damn good. And those Corvus albums in Horner are my favourites. Holy shitting fuck. Holy shitting fuck. They're so good. His vocals are just another level. Another level. Corvus is one of the best vocalists in black metal. It, hands down. Hands down. His ferocity, his range as well. Not just the ferocity, the range in his voice. So good. And Total Self Hatred, he managed to make it just so depressing and bleak. And on the flip side, it has a kind of DSPM edge to some of the Horner albums with him on, but it just works so well. So, yeah. Kind of makes you feel stuff when he sings. And I appreciate that. So you're making this list. Hey, Danny Filth is next. Oh shit, people start sort of throwing shit at me. Fuck you. Danny Filth got me into black metal. Danny Filth got me into extreme metal. And just metal in general, really. Because it was Iron Maiden and Metallica before that. And then it was Cradle. And Cradle just blew the doors open for me. And I love black metal because of Cradle of Filth. So, what can I say? Cradle of Filth is one of my favourite bands of all time. Danny Filth is a fucking legend. Live, it can be a bit hit and miss, but record, oh my god, just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Dusk and Her Embrace, those screams, god damn, Vampire, the screams and Queen of Winter Throne, just, you can't beat that. You can't beat how high he screams, and it's just so unique. You know it's Danny when he's singing, and that's the sign of a good vocalist, in my opinion. You instantly know it's him. And there's no copycats, there's no band that sounds like Cradle of Filth. Anorexia and Nervosa sound similar, but the vocals are just not not the same. So you instantly know it's Danny. He's iconic as fuck. And he got me into the my favourite genre, so fuck it. Danny Filth. There you go. Thumb up. Next up, we have Roman from Hate Forest. He, he, um, I'm going to do Hate Forest and Blood of Kingu. Uh, I know he's in Druk as well, but he doesn't sing in that. But he does sing in Hate Forest, and those low death metal growls that he has. It's like a death metal slash black metal singing style and it works so well. Hate for us. The, as soon as you play an album, it's just like you're getting battered over the head with bleak energy and it's just so unique, so good. Same as Blood as Kingu. Um, phenomenal. You know, if you just listen to Drew, go listen to Hate Forest and Blood of Kingu. Both are made. Astrophase is good as well. But yeah, go listen to those two. Uh, phenomenal projects and his vocal style again so unique nothing sounds like him in the black metal it's just such a low register such a unique way of screaming in black metal it kind of threw me off at first because I was so used to Druk but now I kind of love it but Druk's still my favourite band of all time so yeah but yeah Roman great stuff now it comes down to it who am I going to pick as number one because it's between these two I don't quite know I don't quite know I, I know <sighs> I know the one that kind of got me into proper black metal after Cradle, so I'm tempted to put him higher, but then I love, 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 love the screams of the other one, which would, uh, both would get me into hot water. Oh, I've got to go in my heart, haven't I? I've got to go in my heart. Who do I actually prefer the screams of? Who do I prefer the screams of? Okay, so... Yeah, my number two is gonna be fuck Varg Vikernes. That's correct, Burzum himself. Yep, I love him. He got me into black metal after Cradle. It was Burzum I listened to, and I fell in love. Philosophum's the album that made me fall in love. Then Hiviz, oh Bellows, the debut. Every single album is amazing. Some people say he's the worst vocalist. They can suck a fat one. He's the best. No one screams like him. No one has that pain, that kind of evil, raspy, I don't even know, that wasn't even trying to scream, I was just, <laughs> you know what I mean though, that evil, raspy shriek, that sounds like he's in pain, no one does it, no one can do it like Wild can, he is the master of it, no one will be able to do it like he can, he is the master of it, and that's why he's here at my number two, which means number one is gonna, yeah, get me in some shit. Number one is Niche from Alcest. Oh, fuck. I went my heart on this one. And you know what that says? That says Niche is the best black metal vocalist. Let me preface this. Black metal vocalist, when he's screaming, his screams are literally 
unmatched. As unmatched. They are fucking unmatched. Have you heard the... De- 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 I can't speak. Have you heard the debut by Peste Noir with his screams on some of the songs? Holy shitting fuck. Have you heard it? Cali de Loon? Have you heard some of the early Alcest albums? When the scream kicks in, it is haunting, it is chilling, it is the greatest scream I've ever heard in my life. I've seen Alcest live. Um, and his screams were just hair-raising. I got goosebumps listening to Alcest. Um, the show was, you know, it was a typical Alcest show. He had a little rug on stage. He looked so chilled. Uh, was, it's, I love his singing as well. But then he blasts into the screams and fucking hell, my head exploded. His screams are literally, they raise the roof. He is the best vocalist. In black metal. Some people would say he should just do screams. Which I would, I would fucking pay to see just a scream album by Niche. That would be insane. But I like the beauty of his clean singing as well. I love the mixture of it. So yeah, this is my list. Uh, if you don't like it, make your own. And I'll listen to it and I'll watch it. Because I actually like watching metal content on YouTube. So fuck it, do it. Questy says, make your own lists. And I'll watch them. Maybe I'll react to them. There you go, there's a video idea. Make your own list of black metal vocalists and I'll react to it. So there you go, there's my top 10 black metal vocalists of all time. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you annoyed that like a black gaze vocalist is top? Let me know down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.